Tricky mate. Hello? What the hell is that? Oh my god. I just made it. Oh my goodness. This is really, really unbelievable. Hello, and welcome to Take It to the Max Show with Grandmaster Max Lugi. And um, I'm here taking all comers at the five minute pool. Uh, just join the five minute pool and you'll have a chance to play. So um, as I'm waiting, uh, I'd like to extend my congratulations to uh, Ernesto Inarkiev, who clinched uh, first place at the European Individual Chess Championship, um, where he has eight and a half out of 10, amazing score. And the closest peop three people have seven and a half out of 10. So even if he loses the last round, he will definitely be first in by on tie breaks. But the way he's been playing, I doubt he will lose. Um, he's been playing some really, really serious chess. Um, and Ernesto, I think, was a Russian champion uh, some years ago. <coughs> and then he has had some tough, tough times actually uh, breaking out. But now he is uh, with this tournament he's uh, breaking to the top 30 in the world I believe and uh, so uh, good luck to him he's a great guy very nice um, and uh, here we go Halambuha good luck my friend I am Ooh, okay okay I'm gonna play a little bit a little bit off the beat here stuff that I uh, not the London system that I usually play uh, last few months. I'm going to play something a little bit different, okay? Now, this is a system I usually play it against the Czech Benoni. Um, it's kind of simple. There's no real uh, complication there. I just develop my pieces, and I don't mind black to uh, exchange that dark squared bishop, which he didn't, by the way, but he could have with bishop g5, and a lot of people actually do that. Now I'm going to take control of the queen side with b4. And uh, and then I'm going to play for two sides. Two sides of the coin here. Both the king side and the queen side. It's an interesting. All full-fledged assault here on both sides. I'm going to start with the queen side. Here I may already be threatening positionally to take on c5. If not, I can definitely delay that. And also, I want, I'm want. i thinking about some attack, maybe, one day on the king side. Okay. Um, I don't need the attack. So I could play f3 for now. And now I was wondering if I actually did threaten to take on c5. So I think I'll castle for now, waiting for f5, and then I'll take on c5. Maybe taking, yes, taking on c5. Then I can take on b8. And you can see that black is kind of opening up the position with his pieces going backwards, which is a pretty good sign. Now I'll take. And typical plan is to play f4 here. And then black plays e4. And then I play for g4. Now, having said that, should I do that? Uh, or should I play king h1 or should I play bishop c2 first? This is kind of the questions in my head right now. Another possibility is to insert this bishop in there because I think it's going to feel good there. And maybe attack that f1 with a knight on g3 and queen on c2. Let's see how black deals with that. Okay. Uh, well, the exchange of dark squared bishops could favor me. So I'm going to play knight g3 first, but I'm going to keep that in mind. That I can exchange bishops here at some point. Also, rook b1 may become kind of a nuisance for black. Because he's going to have to defend the f1 while moving his knight at the same time. That could be an issue. Of course, on f4, I have in between bishop takes knight, and that should be good. Okay, now rook b1 is what I had thought about as a bit of a...
problem for Black, tying up his pieces. Maybe not in the way that he really wanted. Because bishop takes knight and knight h5 could be a threat if Black ignores it. So now now for now it's not over except queen b2 okay I think I'm winning a, p, a pawn bishop takes knight queen b2 rook f8 bishop takes knight right I think that wins the pawn <coughs> oh wait I forgot to take the knight first shoot <laughs> Oh my god, what a silly goose. Take the knight first and then play queen b2. Wins the pawn. Okay. This is also not bad. Because the a pawn is also problematic. Ah, but he shielded it. And that's my my punishment for playing for playing out of turn. Playing moves that I didn't actually want to play. Okay, well now I'm going to have to double on the 8th rank. And then maybe take the a pawn while doing it. Yeah, a bit silly when you see a winning idea to not play it, but okay. Now we got an extra pawn anyway, a different extra pawn, but a, an, an extra pawn nevertheless. Okay, so knight b5 looks possible. Takes, takes, e4, takes, yeah, that doesn't look that dangerous for black. I think I'm gonna do it. Maybe I shouldn't, I don't know. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna do it. Knight b5. That forces bishop takes knight, I think. Because the d6 pawn is hanging. I've been playing this. I mean, that, that. Okay, so he decides to take. To do this immediately. Takes. And now he does that. Okay. Uh -huh. Now knight f5 is not good. I see. Logical. Okay, and a lot of pawns up to queen d6, but how's the position? Silly position, right? Dangerous otherwise, I think. Knight f1. Alright, I'm gonna play knight f1. Otherwise I have to sacrifice a piece. Okay now. Queen d6. What? This is so strong? Oh my god. Now I have to give up this one. Okay, so I'm just playing this really badly. As expected. Really badly. I was winning, made one bad move, then started going into some really ridiculous complications. Okay, that gets taken. And this gets exchanged. Okay. Position still looks very good for me, I have to say. I mean, after this move, I think Black had to play some like Queen C1. I don't know. Complicated, but. Okay, this one I take. That's a lot of extra stuff. Okay. This one, Queen F1 or Bishop F1. I think Bishop F1 is just fine. And now it's just finish. Finishing off. Okay. Trade pieces. Don't let them get away. Yep. Okay, I mean, what can I say about this game? It's a little silly, I think. This game was a little silly because kind of the moment of truth came a little early here. Where Black basically opens up the position and his pieces get debunked. The Knights on b8 can't really come back because f5 is so weak. So this I'm threatening bishop takes knight. He defends, and then I hit him from the other side. And then bishop takes knight, king takes, queen b2, 
and the only way to defend the knight would be rook f8 and then i would take on f5 and he's overloaded his rook and i'm just winning because not only do i win a pawn i also have a beautiful blockade on e4 instead i forgot that i didn't take the knight and now it got complicated i found i found a maneuver but um what's going on here this is a bit strange why did that why did we jump why did we jump somewhere here i don't know i found the maneuver queen a8 i was gonna say in this position uh to play rook b8 and black had to defend um rook b8 and anyway you know what happened later later really complicated things happened okay i'm playing against the belgian belcher uh, a grandmaster to belch i mean to boot so we have the richter rouse of sicilian upon us he thought for a second meaning he probably doesn't quite play this line so much which is okay this is a line i kind of enjoy playing for many years <coughs> played it against an ant oh oh no e5 was the move i can't believe i just finger fell out and he could have taken my knight and won okay i this is incredible this is really incredible how this is going today is a weird day guys i've just done that i can't believe i did that seriously okay now what do i do fine <laughs> I was saved somehow but now i'm in a bit of unfamiliar waters so what should i do here let's exchange bishops i, I gotta get rid of that strong bishop i guess mm -hmm. well it doesn't actually threaten to take <coughs> from a beautiful position to a bizarre play played to a bizarre position which I don't really understand and don't really like Okay, I'm going to take that bishop and move my knight into e4. Although the knight on e4, e4 will be attacked. Okay, I'm going to put the bishop on e, the bishop to protect that knight. Castle queenside, where else can I go exactly? I can understand. Okay, now I have to defend that pawn I think I really don't like it <laughs> okay bring it all back nothing else to do Can I afford knight takes? Knight takes, knight f5, d4. Not really, right? So I have to grab it with the pawn. Very logical. nothing you can do i gotta go after the e5 this one i have to <coughs> cover up that's cool okay
Now I need a tactical trick. No, I'm dead. I'm dead, probably. That's what happens if you're playing positions that you don't understand. You just get pummeled, as my friend used to say. Completely losing many different ways here. <coughs> 96 is definitely one of them. Uh, wait. Knight b3, take, take. Rook c7, king b8. Yeah, it's losing for sure. Okay, well, not a good position at all, but what can I do? Nothing I can really do. Okay, time to resign, my friends. Um... There was nothing you could do. And of course, the reason is very simple. Uh, in this position, early in the opening, when I got my dream position, somehow my pawn, my d pawn got touched instead of the e pawn. And instead of playing e5, I played the horrible d5, which immediately loses to bishop takes knight and pawn takes pawn, by the way. My opponent somehow just on automatic pilot played pawn e5 giving me a chance to just play this game which of course i don't like um maybe i should have played knight c5 knight a4 to try to get some clean side attack but instead i i went for this uh really horrible french which eventually my uh belcher friend from belgium uh and this rook c1 is a really nice move by the way okay my my perennial opponent, FM Alias, is here. Let me play him. Today, no London. No London today, guys. I want to show you that I'm a multi-talented player, playing all kinds of openings. Don't have to play the London each time. Now, this move is actually quite devious. You don't know what it stands for. It stands for the move d5. And now black is, I think, almost lost. This position is almost lost, in my opinion. Yeah, this doesn't help anymore. Let's now play b4. Now I'll play a4. And the game is over. Pretty much the game is over here because the a pawn is too weak. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. We'll see how it works. Let's take the pawn on f5. See how this knight hangs out. Knight d4 is possible. <laughs> I could just play knight c3 for now. Talking about the weak a pawn. If remember, if you remember, I just mentioned it a couple of minutes ago. And now it's quite kind of weak, right? How to protect the ape one? Okay, black decides that the, the way to protect it is tactically. 
H3, E4, Hg takes, <coughs> takes. This is interesting. I can just take, I think. There's no, nothing wrong with that, but uh, knight e1, for example, just to get out of this whole attacking situation, looks pretty good. Yeah. If queen c8, then h3, g4, g5. That's my plan, which I could have done, but that's too complicated to begin with. And if knight h6, then I can take that and take on a6. I could keep the knight, the bishop too. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. I mean, I may need it later. So the weak pawn is gone. <coughs> now knight c2 looks attractive. Bishop h6 also looks interesting. Okay, knight c2 looks good though. Moving the pieces into nice spaces. Okay, now the bishop should come back. Although 94 was a possibility. No, 94 was not a possibility. Okay, fine. Be that as it may. On 95, ah, this move. Completely missed by me. Crazy, wow. I'm missing all these moves today, huh? Yeah, I can't take because bishop e5 and queen h4. Looks very dangerous. Crazy. <laughs> now I have to survive this onslaught. Should I play g3? Oh, 93. Let's try g3 for now. Very bad. I have to take that one. I probably have to play 93 or something like that. This looks really horrible. <laughs> This looks lo losing completely, but let's see. <laughs> okay, I don't think I have a choice. <laughs> We have to do this. Now. Mm, yeah, this is lost. Horribly, horribly lost. And not even any time to work this position. Although, I don't know why I would need the time here. Mm 
Yeah. Pretty disgusting. But you know my maxim. Never resign, right? So I won't resign this time either. What the hell? Well, that was strange. Well, I guess I won't lose this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just blundered Maiden 1. <laughs> okay, this is touche. This is really unbelievable. Something's going on with my mouse or something. I don't know. I'm playing so badly, it's crazy. Okay, well, so at some point I make some ridiculous move and, it's, and the game ends. Uh, something happened in that game as well, which was really weird. My opponent just gave up a piece. And of me, instead of capitalizing on that by at least drawing, I just went in and lost. <coughs> by mating myself. That was something. Well, that happens to everybody, and it may. Why not? Why shouldn't it happen to me, right? Well, let me check. Okay, checks have to be carefully organized. Careful defenses against checks have to be organized, like move your <laughs> king out of the check. Okay, I like my position, but we don't know what's going to happen. Okay, one second. I got to do something a little bit. Okay, now probably, let's see, 97, bishop b7. <laughs> okay, let's protect the queen. <coughs> c3, knight is, what is going, ah, I have some smart move function, I think. That's killing me, oh my god. That's what's killing me, because I'm just touching barely and and i make a move which i don't want to make oh my god i need to take that away why we'll be losing more games today that queen c7 move is one of the most ridiculous moves i've ever played not as ridiculous as giving up made by in one move but still amazing amazing all right time to attack on some side And I was going to take with a pawn. And that was the idea. That's why I played b5 and that's why I played rook d8. I was actually preparing for that. Uh, okay, how do I make this work? The blockade on e4 is quite nasty. So I'm going to play c4 first. To create a pass pawn. Okay, now, should I just attack that bishop? Just maybe move the rook here to b8, maybe threatening queen b6 at some point. <coughs> so getting rid of that pin. Okay, now I'm gonna, uh-huh, he wants to take on b6, that I don't wanna really allow. Okay, that I can deal with. That's a very important bishop I just gave up. Uh-huh, good point. 
Okay, put my queen there to pin. Pin that. Okay. Now the question is how do I break through? Bishop f5. I suppose is one attempt to get through this e4 square. And I gotta keep knocking until I knock knock through that nasty e4 square. Oh. Is that really defended? That's crazy who that is. Wow. I didn't expect that to be survivable, but I you know I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out, of course. I'm gonna check it out. Wow, my opponent's really really doing well here. Finding amazing moves. Yeah. Well, what what do I have to do? I can only do this. Okay, at least I got my pawn moved. Finally, moved my pawn. Cost me one. Let's pin that knight. Okay, clearly white. White thinks I'm. Ah, I see. <sighs> mm. All right. I don't want to draw, so I'm gonna. Uh, but this one I'm gonna take. Finally, win back, won back something, okay. even an extra pawn. Today is a tough day, I have to say. White somehow couldn't hold it together, but still, still hitting a seven. Okay, let's exchange <coughs> exchange rooks while we're at it. Hopefully this will be easier. Now the ending is not necessarily winning if I play Queen B two. Bishop H six though. Looks good. Yeah. Bishop h6 looks good. I gotta keep. Okay, the knight now. Well, now it should be good. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. Okay, first we take another pawn. That's gonna be very important one day. And then we shoot shoot back oh I have no time I'm gonna be losing on time that's interesting okay no time Oh my god, did they just blunder that? What's going on with me, huh? It's just sick the way I'm playing. Alright, draw. Draw, 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 draw. He's gonna try to win. He's the kind of guy who tries to win these positions. I guess.
I guess not. Okay. Lucky me. Okay, another winning position downed. Wow, guys. I'm losing my touch. Pretty soon I'll ask the show administrator to give me some odds, like maybe to listen to the moves as you guys play, because I it's just difficult, so difficult. It's been just so difficult. And of course what was happening here was I got a good position in the opening. I got a good position in the opening here because white spent all this time with these knights. And then right about here, instead of playing knight e7, which would force the bishop into oblivion of some sort, and followed by d5, but pretty much a position winning game, my pieces went into some sort of a ridiculous thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into settings well, I have a chance, and I'm gonna take out some sort of smart move thing. I don't know. Is there a smart move thing or something? What's going on? Yeah, yeah there is a smart move thing. It was on, and now it's off, and I should be safe now from this horror that beset me. And of course. Later on, the position was very complicated until, and and my opponent kept playing quite well. Uh, I don't understand how I, I just, oh, I just gave up the pawn, that's what happened. He just took it. He saw that I, I, I kind of assumed that if I get to f2, I'll be winning, but it's, it wasn't true. And now I try to get to h3, but he just exchanged them. At least I got the check in, but that's obviously not quite enough of the pawn. So, okay, we have a lot of beer lovers today. And this one is not a belcher, hopefully. But he, is, he loves the beer time, and that's normal. Here we go. All right. Queen a4, my favorite move. All right, let me castle as well. Development. Okay, white, black is not fighting for the center, so I will take it. It's like a ball in, in soccer, I think. You know, if, you, if your opponent doesn't want that, just take it. Maybe you can score if he doesn't want to score. Take the center each time and enjoy it. It's going to give you lots of points. Just developing my pieces for now. But I do have the center. Okay, now probably time to jump in and use my center as a bouncing block. Okay, now um, pawn takes d5, makes a weak pawn on c7. And uh, we're going to grab this one too. Okay, if I take on e5, play bishop h3 and play rook c1, I probably win the pawn, right? So I'm going to... I can do that, uh, or I can, no, I'll do that. Be your time. Yeah, this one I don't have to take. And it's not gonna be that easy to defend. On queen c5, for example, I have queen e2. Okay, black just decides to give it up. Okay, but he has an idea. He wants to play rook c bishop c5. And then probably if I sack, 
I'll do well, but you know, bishop b5, bishop d7, it's also possible. All right, let me sacrifice. Could have taken on a7, maybe that was even stronger. Okay, now f4 looks <coughs> looks like a good move. All right, should I take on a7 or just play queen f2? Tuck it in. Tuck it in. If I take on a7, rook a8, yeah, that, no reason, right? Just make it simple. Queen f2. Tuck in my position. Make it feel safe. Much easier to attack from position of safety than when you're like, oh my god, I need to find that move or it'll be over. Okay, threat is bishop e5, not pawn takes, because if pawn takes, I will lose something. Uh, well, now pawn takes, because then e6 is possible, and then queen f6. And that would look dangerous, actually, for anybody. Yes, black could sacrifice, but you know, that's that means he is down a couple pawns at least, right? Mm. I should really take, right? <coughs> now the rook wants to go to the C file, probably I should stop that. I am two pawns up. And the A pawns hanging. Okay, white doesn't care black doesn't care about the A pawn, but I do. I'm going to use that A pawn later on. I'm just gonna tuck myself back in and use my and use the A pawn to win the game. That's all I'm gonna do. Well watch me. I'm, I'm stopping rook f6 because that's that's ugly. that's just ugly and unfriendly. I'm not, you know. Okay, queen takes rook is a possibility, but later. For now, e6, d6, and queen e3 look kind of hot. Uh, bishop f1 later. Um, okay, I think it's I think it has to be e6 just to open black up. That opens black up completely, and now I can try to queen and knight wins, as you can all see. Knight knighting the pawn wins, <coughs> uh, but many other moves win as well. Well, I have a minute 40, so I'm gonna try to set uh, playing. No, not always promote to queen, okay. And now I have a chance to make a knight. And I did it. <laughs> so you guys can enjoy it. Took me a little bit, but there it is, okay. A knight finished the game. Had to do the resettings. Now I'm going to reset again because that's those knights kill you in uh, quick time controls. So I'm going to. So a lot of playing with settings today. Now what happened in this game? Let's see if we can go over this a little bit. No, we're not going to be able to do that. But we have uh, bits of coins. We have someone who's actually... Uh, mining coins. A sudden oh god i have a sudden attack in my i'm gonna have to defend my attack oh okay so i sacked the pawn and i said castled 
and I'm gonna try to get some something going here. Well, block is not developed. That D6 one looks ni nice. Looks like I'll be able to use it later on. Okay, now. Probably should. <sighs> should probably pin it. Okay. Okay. Let's close that opportunity for now. Although I don't know if I'm playing this right. Okay, now now knight f three for sure. Take that knight and play knight e5. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, now have d7 check, followed by c4. What to do? I could also just move my queen, for example, to e3. Yeah, why wouldn't I just do that? Just enjoy that position instead. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for my cough. It's staying with me for ages already. Okay, it looks like a dangerous position for black, but there's still a lot of taxes going here. Okay, well, that's nice. Oh, my God, castle that side. Did not see, I have to say. Did not see that possibility, because I thought this would win. Because the rook is overextended a bit. And that's a 19-minute move game. Let's see who's next. Let's see what happened here. First of all, this is the Albin counter with an extra move, bishop f4, so the Albin's not that easy to refute, and with an extra move, who knows? So, uh, here, I don't know about knight d7, maybe g6 is better. In any case, now black plays for g6, but now I get in this d6 move, which I think is quite important, actually. So, black sidesteps, I take. And bishop g7. So, okay. My friend Lufus is upon us. Upon me, brother. Good luck. Let's see what happens. The way Lufus is playing, I should play him a one on one match, I think. I really match him up. Let's see what happens. All right. So far, symmetrical stuff. Okay. Lufus and I have played many a King's Indian here. And here's to another one. <coughs> okay, never plays the main move e4. That's fine. The knight is going somewhere. I'm going to attack the pawn. And just develop my pieces. Stop knight g5, which I think white should have played. Actually, I think I misplayed it a bit. Now my bishop is safe. Okay, time to move my queen. I don't want it to overstay its welcome. All right, let's go, let's do it. Let's go, let's attack. With all we got. 
How does that work? e4, bishop f4, <coughs> queen b6. Maybe yes, maybe no. <coughs> Do I really want that one? Well, it's only because it's Lufus I'm going to do it. Only because it's Lufus. Many possibilities for white, I agree. Knight h4 is one. Bishop f4 is one. I guess resigns is the third one. Okay, knight h2 is the third one. Okay, well, I'm gonna accept that generous donation. Okay, where to put my queen now? A5, I suppose. Yes, active as possible. Yes. Now let's move the knight away from that danger, danger line. Well, that's nice because then I get to, I think I get to trade rooks. Wouldn't that be wonderful to get the D file with the exchange to boot? Yes. I only want the D file, that's all. <coughs> so 98 coming up is fine. I don't care about bishop b4. I'm just going to drop the queen back and take the D file. One way or another. Here's my D file. <coughs> Very happy to have gotten it. Here I'm gonna stop bishop f4 for a bit. I assumed Lufus would play that move. I know my Lufus sometimes. Okay. Now it'd be good to put the knight queen on c5 so on d4 so now maybe let's do that that is uh-huh f4 Not so simple. F4. I can just take F4. G5. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, and I was thinking. Uh, 
Okay, maybe just rook g7. Why not? Okay, or maybe rook d2 followed by queen a5, queen, e, queen d6, followed by pawn takes pawn, followed by knight f4. That looks also very dangerous. Actually, I'm going to do that instead. <coughs> yes, attack that knight. Oops, completely missed that, I have to say, I completely missed that move. And now it's just a crazy position. Wow. <laughs> How do I do that all the time? Missing good stuff like that. Okay, what's going on here? I don't know. But let's find out. Wow, Lufus tricked me again. <laughs> uh huh. Maybe I'm tricking Lufus now. Let's see how this goes. Jesus. Crazy position. It's always with Lufus. <sighs> okay, Lufus, stop my apron. I don't mind. And White resigned. There it goes. Lufus goes down. All right. Let's see if I can get another, another <coughs> victim before the night is out. Because I'm playing so badly, I gotta get at least a good score towards the end, huh? Maybe. If I'm lucky. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Let's attack this guy. Fine. The attack didn't work out. No problem. Let's attack that knight, this guy. <coughs> FM Skakik Agalast. Okay, good luck, my friend. We're down a pawn, though. Okay. <laughs> down the pawn already okay interesting stuff <laughs> who knows what's going on here i can only do pawn counts today definitely up a pawn no doubt about that some nimble play in the opening Bishop e5, bishop d4 was a cool idea. Have developed it before. Then just figure it out today. Okay, knights should go to d4, I suppose. 
Okay, if he wants to take it, that's fine. I'll figure out something. On knight h2, I'll figure out something. Yes, okay. <coughs> now, I think it's time to castle. Okay. D5 is kind of hanging, but I gotta get to it, right? How do I get to it? Should I play f4? Let's play f4. Let's close out the king side. I'm still up a pawn. That should be something. All right. <coughs> All right. Obviously, I don't want to take that one. In fact, why don't I move some pawns up here to control some more space? Maybe my knight can go to b3. It's a reasonable move. Look f6, okay. I suppose I should defend my bishop out there. Obviously, black is hinting that that bishop is attacked somehow. I don't see it, but I don't want to know. Okay, now I can take three pawns after knight f5 for that guy, but uh, for that knight, but do I want to? Probably not. So, knight b3, bishop b6, knight, the other knight to d4. Yeah, that actually does something. Because <sighs> I need that b pawn to move too. So, I, I need to unblock that. Yeah, this way. Now, b5 is a threat too. That could get those pawns moving. Okay, now knight takes probably, although bishop takes also looked interesting. And now b5 and c4 probably. Yeah, b4, or maybe bishop b5. Actually, bishop b5 is not a bad idea. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because I don't see who's gonna defend all these light square weakies later. <laughs> okay, now queen b3. It's getting tougher and tougher to defend. <coughs> that would follow on queen e8 as well, by the way. Queen e8, queen b3 would be my move too. The check helps on d5. And, okay, now there must be a tactic in here somewhere. c4 is not bad. Okay, this is the tactic I take. And I play bishop c5. <laughs> See, I just know there's a tactic. Why? Because my position is obviously very good. So you just have to look for it until you find it. That's all. All the cap Look at all the captures. And one of them will be it. All the little attacks of pieces. Boom. Very, very... Uh, what's the word? Desperate. Very, very desperate. Oh! I got. <coughs> yeah, she got me in terms of, you know, attacking something. Still can't move the rook, really, because I'll take the pawn, and that's even worse. So I'm not really worried about that, because I'm just taking that pawn. That's huge. And that's huge. And I don't know, take on b7, take on e6, take on anything. I mean, I don't know. I'll take this just to be principled. Um, from my bishop, I suppose. Okay, get my queen to the eighth rank. Queen g7 is a threat. Queen h8 is a threat. Bishop f6, queen f5. Yeah, guys, this was uh, that was that was a tough show. I have to say uh smart move will never be seen by me again i i can't afford these kind of losses two losses from smart moves oh well the rest were pretty good uh considering i didn't win uh one of those smart losses as she drew it so three three smart moves failures this is grandmaster max look with take it to the max show come back next week play me 
and beat me. I'll try to enjoy it. <laughs> Take care, everybody, and uh, have a great evening. And a wonderful summer, by the way.